year, Disney are celebrating the 100 years of the Walt Disney Company, and that means so many good pieces of merch. I have been on the hunt to look at what's coming out, what's new, I get the email newsletters, I've been buying on Shop Disney and treating myself, but I also have found some really great pieces in Primark, Hollister of all places. Some of you sent me some links to some amazing Hollister pieces, so keep watching. And also George Asda. But of course, there's so many good Disney bits in places like Zara and H&M as well. So if I find anything else, I'll do another one of these later in the year. But for now, I thought I'd show you the bits that I've been buying. I did pop to the Disney store in London a couple of times recently. If you follow me on Instagram, you watch some of my vlogs, then you'll know I left my scarf in the store and ended up buying some bits in there. So I do have some shop Disney things from in-store and online but we'll start with Primark I think because I did buy something in Primark and this jumper I'm wearing today is also a Primark one I have been living in this if you follow me on Instagram you'll see me in this a lot because it's so comfortable and soft and I love this color I bought it for a trip to Disneyland Paris and I've been wearing it a lot ever since so this was a Primark by beginning of February but I have seen it in stores still it seems to still be there if you did want to get it if you are new around here hi I'm Brogan I make home lifestyle travel and of course Disney vlogs so please hit subscribe and check out all my other Disney videos. We've recently been to Disneyland Paris and Walt Disney World. If you are looking for a Disney vlog series fix, then hopefully we can be there for you. Let's start with Primark. I always find really great Disney things in here, but this item is actually very different for me. Some of you might be surprised if you know me. This is a jacket and Let's kick the bag away. <laughs> I walked past this so many times. I actually saw it in the London store on Tottenham Court Road. Then when I went to my Bournemouth store, they had one hanging on its own. And you know when you see something, you're like, that's nice, but it's not my style. And then I put it on and I felt really cool. I really loved it. So I sent a picture to Benj and I don't have very good signal in the Bournemouth Primark. And as I was paying, I got a text through and he basically said, get it, it's so cool. And I said to the cashier, do you mind if I run and get something? And he was like, sure. So anyway, I went back and I panic bought it and then I brought it home and I actually do think I really love it. So this is part of the Disney 100 collection at Primark. It was 32 pounds and it's this, I don't know, is this like a bomber jacket? I'm not sure. It's really, really different to anything I'd wear. I'm not sure when I'm gonna wear it or how I'm gonna style it, but uh, it's got really cool patches on the sleeves. I just love this. It's got Walt Disney on the front and in the back it has the same, it says Walt Disney. Just look how cool this will be in Disneyland Paris or if we do any fun things in the UK. I did end up buying a medium and I tried it on, it's a 12 to 14. Um, so ignore the sizing because this is obviously oversized, it's massive. And I really do like it, I mean not with this green jumper but it's just quite cool. I think it's cool, okay? I know it's not gonna be everyone's cup of tea, but it was one of those pieces that I am, um, I'm really pleased with. So yeah, I picked up that. I'm gonna show you the other Disney clothing items I found in the other stores and then we'll do Shop Disney. So this was a jumper that I found on Georgia Asda on the website and ordered it immediately. And so many of you messaged me and said you bought it too. So let me know if you also own this. But this is the Disney 100. It actually says 100 years of wonder on the front. I'll be honest, I'm not a huge, fan of the front. I think this is, it's, I don't know, it's quite generic, isn't it? But I just loved it so much for the back. I kind of almost wish this was on the front because it's so cool, but there are loads of hand-drawn looking characters. You've got Stitch at the top, Pooh, Alice, Mickey on the bottom there. It's just really different. I've never seen anything like it. I got it in an extra large, I think, which is a 20 to 22, so it's nice and baggy, and it was 15 pounds. And yeah, I just cannot wait to wear this. I mean, this is a similar shape and um, feel to the one I'm wearing today. And I think this will be really great when I go to the Disney 100 concert or when we're doing the pop-up immersive thing they've got in London in May. There's a few things I'm going to this year and this will be perfect but just also for day to day you know I'm gonna wear this all the time as much as I wear the green one so for 15 quid this was perfect. I actually love George Asda clothing. I buy a lot of dresses from there and clothes and I sometimes am really successful. Other times I don't buy anything but yeah this was one of those things that I had to have obviously and they have some really good Disney things so 
happy with that. I thought that would satisfy my Disney jumper obsession right now because I don't need any more. But then some of you sent me the link to these and I just couldn't help myself. So these were actually from Hollister. Um, I ordered online. If these are still available, I'll leave them linked below, but they were £39 each. However, they had a promotional offer at the time that was buy one, get a second one, 50% off. So I bought them both for £58.50. This is the first one and I love it. It's got your classic character on and it's embroidered so it's a really lovely quality just look at the characters on there you've got mickey minnie daisy donald goofy and pluto all on there lovely white jumper it even has disney on the arm here like this with the black detailing on the cuff and around the neck i got an extra large and they fit but they just like they fit right you know they're not baggy and i quite like a baggy hoodie so it's the kind of jumper i'd probably tuck into a pair of jeans maybe with like a black leather jacket i think it could look really cool um but i really do love it so that was the first one and then this one i can't believe honestly hollister had jumpers <laughs> again i got this one in an extra large this is a black mickey and it's just got a big m with mickey and then it says established 1928 really cool and then that's the bottom again with the detailing they're just such nice jumpers i can't believe it i'm gonna get so much wear out of these this is the kind of thing i live in i spend so much of my time living in leggings and now i get to wear these as well and that's just suits me fine they're perfect for dog walks they're perfect for days out so yes let me know what you think of these and like i said i'll leave the links below but now i have three new disney hoodies so do i keep them all or do I return one? I don't know. I love them. <laughs> and last but not least, we have the Shop Disney store. So I actually went in store and I ordered online. First up, I got some new ears and I love these. The detail, the pattern, the sparkly stars on the bow. If I flip the ears around, you can see there's loads of different uh, nods to different rides. Got a mountain uh, you've got a teacup, a castle, um, an astronaut with some space stuff on it. So they're just really nice and they'll go with so many outfits. And I couldn't help myself. These are the kind of ears that I know will sell out quite quickly. But again, any links, I'll leave them for you. But I'm really fussy on how a bow looks as well on a pair of ears. I like a big bow. Like, I think that looks so cute. What do you think? Let me know below. I would keep them on, but this tag is really bugging me. I imagine these were about 25 or 30 pounds, something like that. But they are part of the Disney 100 collection here. Next, I ordered online this from the Disney Eras collection. It's a set of three journals. I do not need any more notebooks, but I haven't bought a new notebook in a really long time, probably because I don't need any. But when I saw these online, I just had to have them because I loved the design. We have Walt Disney's Disneyland, and I like that it's got a nice little, you know, elasticated bit to hold it together. We've got this one, Walt Disney's Disneyland. The detailing on this is absolutely adorable. The little ticket, Tomorrowland, Fantasyland. Love, love, love the design. And then this is the last one. It just says Disneyland. I love that it's got the old style tickets. Yeah, I mean, I had to have these. <laughs> I shouldn't be buying more notebooks, but aren't they amazing? I really love them. I probably could keep one and gift one to a friend, but... Oh, it even has Channel 7, Wednesday, 7.30 to 8.30, Disneyland with Walt Disney. Look at that. That's such a nice detail. Had to have those little notebooks. Disney are always doing offers and freebies and discounts and stuff. But when I went to the checkout, I'd spent a certain amount of money and I got a free hand soap. So this was a freebie. I actually think I'm going to save this and give it as a gift to somebody because I already own one of these in a different design, a Walt Disney World version. But it's really fun. I think it'd be great for kids actually. But I absolutely love it. I could even take it to rainbows. I think the girls would love that. Obviously you press the pump and it makes a Mickey shaped soap. So yeah, I just thought that was really nice as a nice little freebie. Didn't buy this, don't know how much they are, but again, if I can find a link, I'll leave it. I got three new pins. Now I actually had these in my hand to buy them when I was in the store on Oxford Street. And then they had a fire alarm which went off, evacuated the store. That's when I left my scarf in there. And so when I went online to order them, I just thought, you know, what? I'm just gonna get them in case I don't see them again. I also ordered a photo frame I'm gonna show you next, but originally I saw these in store, but I did buy them online. So the first two pins I got were Peter Pan ones. Now I met Captain Hook in Disneyland Paris with Benj. And so I thought this was a perfect pin to represent that meet and greet that we had. And I just thought it was quite fun. It's quite a nice pin. But then 
I also saw this one, which is a Peter Pan one to celebrate 70 years of Peter Pan. It's a limited edition and Tink Moves. And I thought this was so beautiful. There are just some pins that I have to have in my collection and I love it. It's not too big, but it is borderline on quite a large pin. I mean, I don't know if you can tell in comparison size of my hand, but yeah. And then I also got this one, which is also part of their limited edition eras collection. I'm so looking forward to seeing so many more pins that they're gonna bring out. But this is again, part of the Disney 100 um, eras and it's Mickey and Donald with an old style camera. And I just had to have that as well. I think this one actually is so lovely on the backing card too. Look at that. But you know I'm going to take it off the backing card and put it on my pin boards. The camera actually moves as well. So Donald can point it at Mickey. Which I thought was very sweet. The next thing I got I also saw in store. And then I bought it online. But I actually bought it from the DisneyOutlet.co.uk. It's a separate website. I don't know if many of you know about it. I will leave it linked below. They used to have a section on the Shop Disney website. That was an outlet sale area. But now they seem to have this separate website. And that's why I found this. Um, because it was massively reduced. I paid £8.50 for it. And it's a Walt Disney World 4x6 frame. And I have been looking for a nice frame for a particular photo that we took. In fact, I will put it on screen for you here. It's us meeting the Winnie the Pooh characters at the Christmas party from our trip in December. And I really wanted a nice frame to put it in. So when I saw this, it was just perfect because we went during the 50th and obviously they're sort of getting rid of all the 50th merchandise now as it's coming to an end. For £8.50 for a really lovely photo frame with the Disney branding, I thought that was an absolute steal. So yeah, I had to pick that up. We got another bowl for Bonnie. Now we have quite a few dog bowls, but we've got two that are really big and we're going to donate them to a local charity that specializes in dog and pet things. They're just too big for Bonnie. Like when we pour her food in, they just don't even take up half. So we're going to get rid of those. And we've been loving this particular size bowl, but obviously with dog bowls, sometimes one's in the dishwasher, sometimes one's being used. Sometimes, you know, we've got one in a bag when we travel. So I when I saw this, I said to Ben, we should pick that up because we could do with another bowl. It was originally £16, but we got it in the sale for £11.20. So it's this really lovely, it's got a nice base, like this wood base, and then it's just your sort of typical dog bowl. Pluto obviously in the middle there. There's loads of Disney sidekicks and the detail and the words is just so, so adorable. This might be my favourite dog bowl ever. So had to get that for Bonnie Girl. Do I need more pyjamas? No, I don't need more pyjamas. But I saw these in store. They only had a few left. And I did get quite a large size, so I'm hoping they'll fit. I haven't tried them on yet, but they do have a drawstring. These were originally £30, but I got them in the sale for £21. I did not see these online, so that's why sometimes it is quite handy going in the store. I wouldn't necessarily always go out of my way to go to the store, but if I'm in London and I've got an event or I'm nearby, I do like to pop in, and that's why it's sometimes quite good to see these sort of pieces. But yeah, it's a really lovely pyjama set. And it's got Daisy and Minnie in like a pink and lilac and the sleeves are really cute. They're like got a little frill on them. And I really love a t-shirt and short. This is like my perfect pajama set. So I'm not too sure if it's gonna be too big. I got them in a 1X, so they might be, but the top actually looks fine. It's the bottoms that I'm a bit worried about, but it'll be fine. If they are too big, I'll just have them slightly taken in or I can just use the pull string bit. But I love them. As soon as I saw them, Benji was like, you don't need more pajamas. I was like, don't, sh bleh, bleh. <laughs> let me be, let me be. I love them. So yes, I got those as well. So that is my Disney haul for you today. I hope you've enjoyed seeing the pieces I've been picking up recently and collecting. I love Disney stuff so much. Disney has my heart forever and always. And I don't know when my next Disney parks trip will be. So I'm going to continually look out for really great, cool pieces of clothing, home stationery and pins, obviously. And I like to share links on my Instagram story sometimes. So definitely follow me over there because a lot of you send me stuff and I try and share as soon as I see that it's available so you can buy it too but like I said links will be below if anything is still available and if you haven't already click subscribe and make sure you check out my other Disney videos and I'll see you again in my next ones thanks for watching bye